Now, I'm personally not much of a coffee drinker. I'm more into teas, but I know that um, coffee is really important in a lot of people's lives. It's well, for some, it's vital. Uh, for others, it's just a, a nice little treat. And um, the K-Cups are real popular. We want to do a freebie that incorporates them and is a, a cool little way to maybe give a gift to a, co a co-worker, a friend, family member, loved one, whatever it is. Um, actually, you know what? They do make um, the K-Cups with tea in them as well. So it would apply to tea drinkers as well. But uh, it's a very simple freebie, and I have everything I need here in front of me to put it together, so let's do that. And um, we're gonna start off by putting together the main structure here, which, as you can see, I actually cut this out with my maker. Now, while I love it, I noticed that with some of the smaller tabs, um, the pressure just isn't what I expected it to be. Um, but it still works. Uh, in some ways, I prefer the perforated marks because it does give me a cleaner fold, but this aesthetically looks cleaner. Anyway, I digress. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble this first, and this may seem kind of weird because we don't usually do it, do things this way, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this tab and because I like to work flat, we're going to glue this down like this onto this portion here, wherever it ends up. As long as it's flat, it's going to end up in the right spot. So let's get our glue on this little tab here, or this long tab actually, this is the largest tab on the project. And make sure you get your glue right out to the very edge there. Right up to the very edge. And then literally fold it at this fold here, and then make sure that you tuck that tab under and just press that down. And make sure that it's nice and flat, completely flat as you're pushing this down. It will naturally find the place it needs to be when we do this and it's also going to make the assembly that much easier because the only thing we're going to have to do then is kind of close up the box shape here okay okay and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our glue on these two tabs and close this up and then we're going to glue that last little tab in from the inside um, there's probably a couple ways of assembling this box but i kind of like this method because it I think it just works out easier. This tab here, obviously you want to make sure that you tuck that in. Okay. And then just get that nice and aligned. Make sure you push that down. Okay. And then you can flip this down on your table. And actually you could fit your finger in there and push down on those tabs. Okay. And now remember that one tab that we didn't put any glue on. Just get a little bit of glue on it. You can do that. Actually, there's a couple ways of doing that. Well, let's just do it this way. Just go from the inside. Just throw a little bit of glue on that tab there. You can kind of spread that a little thinner if you need to. And then just push that down from the inside. Okay. So we're going to repeat that same process on the other side. Let's just get these two tabs glued down like that and like that get a nice little line right out to the edge this should go together in a snap so pop that in as we glue these tabs down to this rectangular piece just run your fingers along the edges here just make sure that it's getting good contact there then you can put that down on your surface and push down from the inside on those two tabs and that just leaves that one in the little corner there. Plenty of room to get your little glue bottle in there and just spread that glue around a little bit. And then you can see that tab there, just push that down nice and flat, okay? So that is step one, very simple. Make sure that we got it nice and straight, and there we go. Okay, and we've got this little piece here that's going to go on the back, and that is just going to help sturdy up the uh, actual structure itself. So grab your glue and make sure that you get that glue out to the edges here. You know, be actually be able to pick this up with by using your little finger there in that little hole, or you can just hold it normally, whatever. 
Okay, so we're just gonna glue that right onto the back to kind of sturdy that up a tad. And you can actually put that down on your surface and push down here as well as on the inside. And make sure you get it down at the bottom as well. And actually you've got room to kind of write a little message on there if you want, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this piece on like this, okay? So let's get our glue, let's just do half of it right now. Let's do the actual part with the K cups here, or the K cup holes. K cup, sounds like cupcake backwards. And now I'm hungry. Okay, let's get our glue out to the edges here. Okay, and start with the start with the hole section. I think that's going to make it easier for us. Just get those holes nice and lined up. Okay, make sure that back here that it's looking nice and centered and flushed, or flush, not flushed. We don't want our little holder to be sick. Our holder has walking pneumonia. That was a joke. All right, now let's get our glue on the rest of this. And I mean, we could have put the little snowflake on before we did this, but I think it's fine because we can still work on this flat here in just a moment, I'll show you. All right, so pop that back into place. I'm gonna push that down like this. That's why, that's why I don't think it really mattered which way we did it, okay? And then we've got our little snowflake here to give this a nice little wintry feel. We're gonna uh, actually align that nice and flush with the bottom. So let's do that. And you don't need to get glue on every single inch of this. Should only take a little bit of glue to get this to hold. And this is a, a nice glitter. So if you wanted to, if you're using glitter and you have this non-porous back, you could actually put a lot more glue on there because you'll have a lot more time for it to before it sets. Just make sure you get it nice and centered. I did ink this with a nice turquoise color so it blends in to the color behind it a little bit nicer. Okay, and then uh, one thing that I just noticed here, and I'm gonna fix it, is grab a scrap piece of paper here. Got a little area of this little top panel here that just didn't hold very well. So I'm gonna throw some glue on a scrap piece of paper Kind of tuck it under there, paint a little bit of glue right on that area and push that down to make it look nice and nice and smooth, nice and clean. Okay, let's take a look at our K-cups here. There you go. A little toasted hazelnut. Okay, that just leaves our little, well, this is actually like a kind of a coffee bean overlay. That's gonna go right on the front here like so. And it's got a little room for a nice little caption that we have. So let's get that glued down. Super quick, super cute little freebie. You totally make someone's day, bring them some coffee. I know a lot of workplaces have this Keurigs. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but um, they actually make um, they make reusable Keurig cups because I know that there's a lot of controversy about how destructive that the K-Cups can be because of the waste. Um, when I had a Keurig, I had the little reusable cups that you can use over and over again. And it would just get um, coffee, that, you know, just would grind at the local grocery store and then just refill those. And then um, I think that worked, well, that actually I did that with tea, not coffee. Anyway. Um, so that's gonna go on like that, okay? And then we've got a little caption here, it's three layers. So what we're gonna do is first off, just make sure that you get everything lined up properly. We've got this, this nifty little method here where you can have little cutouts in the center of the letters without having to actually place the little tiny cutouts. So what we're gonna do is just make sure that you have this aligned correctly. And let's get this glued down to the base layer that doesn't have any cutouts on it like this, and do your best to make sure that that is lined up correctly. It's kind of a weird shape. And I'll clean that off of 
that glue that was stuck in there. Now let's pop this on here one more time and make sure that that lines up nicely, and it does. So let's just get that on there. And we gotta have ourselves a completed project here. Okay, so get that on there. I've got, got a little like excess glue, but I'm just gonna dab that off. Get that nice and centered, nice and lined up. If you have any excess glue, just kinda pick it up with your finger before it dries and gets all weird and glossy on us. And that's a cute little caption, perk up. I'm gonna take this whole thing. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna pop dot this thing. I think that'll make it stand out a little more. After all, we're telling them to perk up. Don't be flat. Okay. There we go. And just pop that right in the center there, in that little that little scalloped area. And there we go. Perking up. Pop your little cups in there. You can kind of grab it here. Display it however you want to display it. And that is pretty much it for this project. Really quick, uh, it took me maybe, I don't know, five, six minutes to cut it out. Um, we do include, as we have been with all of our projects the last month and a half or so, solid score line versions for those of you that have the maker. Um, for, those that you, uh, for those of you that don't, just use the regular standard files in the SVG files folder and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel that lets us know that you're enjoying our projects. And if you make this or any of the new products from our Winter Wonderland bundle, we'd love to see them. So uh, make sure to visit us in the Dreaming Tree group on Facebook. Just head over to Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree group and join myself. And we're now approaching 9,000 members in that group on top of the 40,000, uh, almost 40,000 on the official page. So I look forward to seeing you there. And as always, I look forward to crafting. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.